Anyways. Anyways, what's up guys? Welcome back, Malik here. And you can see my portfolio today. It almost reflects the market, but I had basically my trades were wrong. I kind of went over tilt. I did two trades, went a little heavier, got stopped out here, and then got stopped out again. And then I took the rebound trade. That was my final trade. That was a third trade. My confluence worked for sure. So I'm able to catch a rebound. So I caught this rebound, took it back up to here and closed it out. And you'll see it. So I took about three trades today, a few partials. You can see the consistency increasing. And I already discussed that, that that would have started to happen. So you can see it happen here. And I'm pretty sure I can do it on more peers. But I'm just fine tuning this one, getting in the reps, getting in the consistency. Another week of this consistency, and we're gonna see bigger numbers and bigger accounts. I'm guaranteeing you. So I actually went a little bigger today. I traded with um some 0.2s actually, which is something I haven't done before, and I was able to sit in it because of how confident I was of my strategy. And if I was wrong, I am wasn't afraid to just be invalidated. So the first trade I entered to the buy side. So this was at 9 a.m. today, 9.47. So let's go to the one hour. So enter to the buy side, where is my pool at 9 a.m. So this one, definitely wrong. I was looking for that rebound, but I was a little too early. So I entered at 39287 and then I got stopped out pretty quickly at 39252. Uh no I got yeah that's where I got stopped out because it actually pushed lower much faster. Let's set uh take profit at 39500 or something. That is realistic, you can see it went there. So What's going on here? My stop loss was 39252. So you see, I got stopped out on the same candle there. This was my entry. I would have gotten stopped out on the next candle if you were to look at the timing as well. So go figure. Well, I did. So you can actually see it here. The next trade I entered at 39255. At this point, I felt a little bit like I was going over tilt, so I was very skeptic of entering another trade after getting stopped out here. Entered at 39199. So the first one was a loss of 34, second is a loss of 55. So I entered here, got stopped out here. So you can see that the market basically came, whipped me out before starting its uptrend. So after that, I basically just look for I buy here, stop loss somewhere down here, or I think I had a stop loss here that way that if market came and took me back out, I'm fine with it. So that was this trade, the 55. So let's look at this one for 39. So at 10, 1035, I entered at 39275. And then I closed it at 39. 354, 354, stop loss at 39200. So you see exactly where my stop loss was. This one, I made $39 on it. I think this one is a partial, precisely. So you can see that my stop loss a bit lower, close to the week. That way, if price decided to come back to there. And the thing about this, I'm looking at it at the hour, but if I was to look at it at the 15, you would see that. But when I entered it was at 1035, so it was here. So if you went to a smaller time frame and enter here, you can look to probably put your stop loss here. If you really want to be invalidated quickly and probably have a bigger risk to reward. So you can have a nice risk to reward here where you can see the market even went much, much higher. So after closing this, the trade was basically free. And then I still had that same entry and let's see what happened here at 1241 
So let's just move it up to here. And then I actually close it at 39457. Same stop loss. 39457. Same stop loss for a profit of 82. So you can see I got a bulk of the move, but there was a little bit left, but that's fine. You could have also looked for the reversal, but I don't typically like to trade after after like between 8 and 11, 12. I'm not looking for trades if I got knocked out all of those times already. Um, this one was just a partial again, so I close it out same minute, but this one was a partial of $9. So this one I close it a little higher for $9. It was a 0 0.01. So that was a uh, what? 460, 39460, $9 with a 0 0.01. So you can see I actually went bigger on this one, 0 0.2. My risk was about 70 initially, then I de risked to about 30, and I ended up taking 110 off of this trade. So I'm just thinking it's going to be time to scale soon where I can enter bigger trades. And if I'm wrong twice of the day, I can still have the account, but I can actually make bigger profits when I'm right and I'm ended up being right a lot more recently. Um going into the watch list now. So seven nine twenty twenty four. Let's start with Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a little higher at fifty seven seven. Seven six Tesla is high, 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 high. Tesla is a monster. Tesla has just been on a tier just for the past couple of days. Like it's unbelievable. Un it's just shooting up. Tesla is a beast. Honestly, I will review Tesla by myself. So IMMR at nine. 0.96 so still holding up strong bit farms at 2.48 so bit farms still higher still higher from that dollar level it's at two dollars holding up um what's this at 128 that's nvidia i think nvidia went up today yeah at 131 apple also had a good day let's just look at that really quick so apple had a great day all-time highs again at 228 why is it going up who knows? Um, AMD at 177, so not a lot of moves. SMCI at 895. Um, ASML at 1059. We have Eli Lilly at 932, so that's actually starting to move higher. And we also have TLT, I think, going down. So it had a small down there at 9235. When TLT goes down, it typically have a bullish market. Is that a true statement? Let's bring up two charts and see. So if you were going to go, it's the NAS 100. So we're on the daily here. Um, Let's look at July, June 28th. So it wasn't real bullish. I wouldn't say because the Nasdaq went up with it. Okay, so I had a bad correlation thought there. Because overall TLT is kind of going up. But let's write a narrative here. I'm, I'm, I'm a little out of touch. Um, today you had Jerome Powell emphasizing no rate cuts as yet, based on information. But might be trying to get us off guard. And honestly, honestly, I think everybody should journal. 
it really helps you to see a lot more of your trading and your charts and i think if you have a good risk to reward a strategy you can still be profitable even if you're wrong sometimes just based off all right this is the risk this is the trade and you're right on the trade your risk isn't crazy to the point where if you get stopped out you can't still get back in the trade and be even more right you get a better in it better entry a better discount a better premium so um i really want to scale this get a 100k account but I may do this on the 10k account, prove it, go bigger, get funded, and just keep scaling. So, if anybody watched it this far, you will know 100%. I'll see you in the next one.